Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here this evening. The Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, the Honorable Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt, Dr. Colin McIntyre, Honorable Ian Douglas, Honorable Miriam Blanchard, Honorable Peta Seja, Honorable Dennis Charles, Mr. Shanks Esprit, residents of the Wharton Woven um, community, ladies and gentlemen, and especially to the stakeholders of the tourism sector. Again, it's a pleasure being here and also to those persons listening via the radio and also watching via Facebook Live and YouTube. Welcome to the community, the beautiful community of Wharton Weaven. I want to assure you that the government of Dominica is working for you and working smartly for you. Because if you prosper, the country will also prosper. It has been some time since I was in your area, but I can assure you the last time I was here, I spent two days in your beautiful valley. I started at Bongo Baths, up to Tears, to Tikwe Glosho, to La Piti Pawadi, all the way to Papiot, and many other areas to name a few. I want to assure you that I listened to your concerns attentively, and I also took notes. But most importantly, as soon as I left your area, I began seeing how we could put things in place to improve on tourism, not only in your area, but in Dominica as a whole. Because as you know, anyone who comes to Dominica, if you ask any Dominican, tell me three places that you must go when you visit Dominica. Guess where is the first one? Trafalgar, Wharton Waven. So you are one of the number one spots in Dominica that every single visitor loves to go to. And it's not only visitors, especially our locals. We love to come to your hot water spas and enjoy and rejuvenate ourselves. Many other persons go there for other reasons too. <laughs> but when I came here, as I said, I listened very attentively and I made sure I took down the proper notes. And there were about four main priority areas that the stakeholders spoke about. One of them was the, the poor state of the roads, inadequate access to, to finance for their businesses, for their existing businesses, or to start up the new business. Some persons said that we needed to market Dominica more so we could have more persons coming to Dominica. And especially you in the, in the um, who are dependent on the cruise business, you wanted more ships to come to Dominica. But very importantly, you also wanted the ships to come back during the summer, the summer months. However, it has worked out in the best way to a certain extent. Whereas during the summer months, some of the beautiful ladies of, of the area have used that opportunity to plant and make your area look as beautiful as possible. So within that time, I drove here and I made sure I used my car. And I can tell you it was a serious experience. And today I'm very happy to see that the roads are in a much better condition for you, the residents of um, Wharton Wave and Trafalgar, and also for the visitors who are going to come here. It's very important for the visitors also because many times you have visitors on the coaster buses and they have a very bad, bumpy type of um, experience. And what happens sometimes when they go back, they ask for refunds and unfortunately, the tour operators have to give them a refund. So as the Honorable Miriam Blanchard said, there is more work to be done, and the intention is to ensure that all of the roads are repaired before the new season opens, to ensure that you are going to enjoy the roads, but very importantly too, the monies that a lot of you make as a result of tourism, the visitors will have a much better um, experience. So even I too, in addition to Dr. McIntyre, in cabinet, we always lobby to ensure that we can get your roads done and repaired on a timely basis. With regards to access, some person said, you know something, we needed funds to upgrade our properties, to upgrade our restaurants, to upgrade our hotels. And I can say to you, again, the government of Dominic has listened. And many of you would have heard that using the funds of the Citizenship by Investment Program, $15 million has been put into the national, to the aid bank in Dominica, whereby persons who are into the hotel business or persons who are into the restaurant business can access those funds at only 3% per annum. They have one year. 
You can take that loan. You can work your business. You can build your business. You can start selling, and you can take 12 months before you can start paying back that loan. No one else in the world, I think, has such an, an opportunity. And I think we really need to thank the government of Dominica for putting such a wonderful facility in place. With these funds, you can use those funds to grow your business, but very importantly, to meet the standards of the international market. So when persons come to Dominica, what they see and what they see in the pictures and what they expect, well, you will meet their um, expectations. In addition to that, there's another source, the small business um, grants, which is administered by the Ministry of Commerce. A grant means that you can access as much as $15,000 to start your own small business or in to improve on your small business. Where else can you get access to funds at no interest? You don't have to pay it back. However, you want to ensure that whatever business it is, is a bona fide business and it's a serious business that will allow you to employ yourself or to employ other persons. So I ask you to take advantage of all of these wonderful facilities that the government of Dominica has provided to you and for you based on the feedback we have gotten um, from you. So as I said, the funds, all of these funds have been put, have been provided, have been made possible by the Citizenship by Investment Program. So again, as the Honorable Blanchard said, it's a very important program, but the important thing is that these opportunities are there before you. You have to try your best to capitalize on them. Don't let someone else come to Dominica and begin to capitalize. Dominica is still virgin. There's lots of opportunities. We as Dominicans have to capitalize on as, on as many of them as possible before other persons begin to come to Dominica and capitalize on these opportunities. With regards to marketing, some person said to us, you know something, Dominica needs to market itself more and better. In order for you to grow any business, you must have a proper marketing strategy and you must have a proper marketing campaign. Again, the government of Dominica is listening because if you succeed, the whole country succeeds. In 2014, our marketing budget was $4 million. Ladies and gentlemen, today, 2016, 2017, our marketing budget is $8.5 million, double what it used to be. And what I can assure you is that I come from the private sector, and we are do ensuring that we use every single dollar wisely to get the best possible returns on every dollar that we spend. Take, for example, we had marketing reps in all of the different countries around the world. The USA, Canada, Europe, um, England, the Fresh West Indies. Guess what? We were not pleased with the results. We changed all of them. Again, just to ensure that we get the best possible results. And I can say to you, the results are coming in, and I will talk to you a little about it a little bit more. So... A lot of you may have seen recently that you have a lot more positive stories about Dominica, beautiful stories of the different sites and places. Again, that doesn't happen by choice, by chance. It has happened because we have invited those writers to come to Dominica and write stories about Dominica. But I want to say thank you to all the Dominicans who have interacted with these people. Because remember, when we invite them to come to Dominica, they're going to go to T. Craig Show by themselves. They're going to go to your place by themselves. They're going to go all over by themselves. Pardon me? Le Petit Pawadi. But if we, if you don't give them the best possible service, they're going to write a horrible story. So I want to say thank you to all the Dominicans who have given all of these writers great experiences so that they have written such beautiful stories of our lovely country of Dominica. So hats off to you and continue doing the great work that you've been doing. Because remember, when someone comes to your business, they want to have a fantastic time. Nobody wants to get bad service. Nobody wants to say, um, hello, and then you turn your back or say stroops. Everybody wants beautiful, lovely service so they can go back and tell their friends and family, when I came to Dominica, I had a fantastic time. When I came to Dominica, the Dominicans made me feel like I was a family member. So again, thank you very much for doing this. We have to do more so that more persons will want to come to Dominica. 
The cruise industry is extremely important, especially for your area. And again, the cruise industry is a very sensitive industry. When you see persons come on the cruise ships and they go back on the boat, the cruise ships make sure a fair amount of these individuals fill out surveys to see how was the bus ride, how was the conductor, how was the cleanliness of the area. They measure us on all of these things and before our scores were very low. But now we are looking at all of these scores and we've been putting measures in place to ensure that we can improve on our scores so that when the cruise ship decides where, which countries are we going to go to, they have 16 countries. However, we can only go to five countries. What we want is that they're going to say Dominica has to be one of those countries that they go to. And they will choose Dominica, one, because the scores are very good. And two, they also make a significant return on their money. Because all of us are in, 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 in business to make a profit. Nobody's going to bring a ship here just to make you make money. They too also have to make money. And their visitors must have a fantastic time in Dominica. So we've been doing a lot of work trying to make sure our city is as clean as possible. You've been doing work in terms of the planting and making sure the, the area is clean. We've, we've even hired security guards, additional security guards in the city of Roseau, just to make sure persons are not pe pulling people's chains, to make sure they feel more secure and safe in the city of, of Roseau and throughout Dominica. We've done lots of training courses, again, so that the service that you provide with persons are better. One of the great scores that we got, out of the 30-something countries, Dominica is ranked number eight as, a, as it pertains to our guided tours, because our tour guides on board do a fantastic job. And one of the things that we're putting in place now is to ensure that every single bus will have a tour guide on board. One, it means the driver of the bus doesn't have to turn back. Imagine I'm driving a bus and the visitor is not used to our narrow roads and he's turning back. See, so you can't even hear my voice. He's turning back and talking. Imagine how scared they're going to be. So if the driver is focusing on the road, you have a tour guide on board explaining everything that they see, you can well imagine the great experience that the people are going to have. And when that happens to the people, tip even more. So it means everybody's benefiting as a result um, of that. We also have something called a crisis management team. And unfortunately, you. In, in life, there will be accidents. And recently, you heard of the accident where someone was trying to overtake an individual, and they ran into a bus, and unfortunately, a lady died, and other persons were injured. But the government of Dominica, we have what we call a crisis management team. Even the hospital did a fantastic job in ensuring that everything went well. And I can say to you, a few days after that accident, even if you heard all of the... I'm trying to get a nice word all of the inaccurate and negative news that persons were spewed on the radio stations. The owners, the captain of the ship wrote us and said to us, guys, thank you very much for doing an excellent job in taking care of our people. <laughs> and Dominica is one of the countries where we get good ratings. Whenever we go to the, to, to, the, to the conferences now, they say, you know something, Dominica has an excellent crisis management team in place so that when these things happen, we're not going to tell you every single thing that happens. The most important thing is to take care of the people and get them out as quickly as possible. So we are doing a very good job at that and we have to continue doing that. But many of you, you're very concerned about the summer season. Even I am concerned about the summer season. Many years we had up, in 2009, we had up to 500 and something um, visitors coming to Dominica. And when Carnival Cruise Lines pulled out, it went all the way down to about 190,000 people. And obviously, many persons lost jobs as a result of that. This, there was no more ships during the, during the summer season, which means everybody was affected as a result of that. In order to change the cruise ship schedule, it takes about two years for them to do that. And I can say to you, the scores that I mentioned earlier, our scores are getting better because we've put things in place. And as you can see, the number of ships coming to Dominica has been increasing. But what I want to say to you is that as those numbers increase, we cannot let down our guard. There's no way we can let down our guard because the second that we do that, it will reflect in the scores and they will stop coming to Dominica again. So this year, 20, 
17, 2018. But let's, let me tell you, 2016, 2018, we had 275,000 visitors coming to Dominica on over 160 vessels. 2017, 2018 is going to be a fantastic year for Dominica and for all of the cruise ship um, stakeholders. Why I say this to you? And again, I like to be very careful. So I went back to the port. I said, before I can say anything about these numbers, call back every single ship and ask them to confirm, are you coming this year, 2017, 2018? They did that, and the numbers are showing that for this year, last year we had 275,000 people. This year we're expecting 422,000 people to Dominica. Last year we had 160 vessels. This year it's going to be 225 vessels. So that is 65 more vessels coming to Dominica. Ladies and gentlemen, we are working very smart and hard for you. But as I said, we must ensure that when persons come to Dominica, we work properly. So some of the negative things that we do, let me just tell you one negative thing that we do. And a member here actually was telling me about it. I said, do me a favor, go back to that area and just make sure what you told me is not true. And she said, you know something, some of the bus drivers, they will hustle the, some of the visitors, rush them to the top of the hill and show them the waterfall far away and say to them, that's the waterfall. This is the tour that you paid for. And unfortunately, the government of Dominica has not fixed the road, so you can't go over this. I have to take you back. Now, just imagine the score that person is going to give us when they go back on that ship. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, we've changed and we've upgraded the laws, the tourism regulations. But the challenge I have right now is that Many of us are afraid to report the persons who are giving us the bad reputation. It's only a few of them. It's not many of them. Maybe five, six, seven. But that one score. You remember, you remember when you went to school? Just one bad grade affected your entire average. We have to ensure that we weed out those who are giving Dominica a bad name. Okay? So I'm looking forward to you to helping us do our job so that we can attract even more visitors when they come to Dominica. So when you hear persons say that nothing is happening in tourism, it is not true. It is fake news. And that's why you have to listen to both sides. And that's why we're here having all of these town hall meetings to present you with the real news, the true news, so that you now can begin to prepare for that season. Just imagine how many additional buses will be coming through your village, through your community, in 2017 and 2018. As I said, it takes some time to make a significant change. Guess which cruise line is coming back to Dominica? Can I get an amen? Yeah. But more importantly, as Dr. Max said, many of the wonderful ladies of the area, during the summer months, they have to find alternative work to do. We have confirmed with Carnival Cruise Lines for the season 2018. They will be starting back in April, which means they will be back in the summer months. Your government is working for you. They will also say to you that some of us are not really interested in um, in the in the in the tourism in the not the tourism but in the in the um, the cruise business. So we have Le Petit Paradis. Their concern is the stayover visitor. And why is she more concerned about the stayover visitor? The stayover visitor, guess what? A, a cruise visitor spends eight hours here. They spend on average 60 US, right? Or it's a lot of them, but that only equates to about 10 to 15% of the tourism dollars they spent in Dominica. The most important part is our stayover visitor because they stay between seven to nine days in Dominica and they spend between 300 to 400 US a day when they're in Dominica. So again, that is where our main focus is and that is why we're spending our money smartly to market. We're bringing more journalists to come to Dominica so that they can 
spread all these beautiful stories of Dominica. We have the marketing budget in place, and we put it in place to ensure that we can entice persons to come to a beautiful country of Dominica. We're working on improving our air access to Dominica. We continue to help and work on upgrading our sites, training so that they have a much better experience when they come to Dominica, and it is working. So just for you to understand, in 2016, our stayover arrivals increased by 5.2%. The previous year it had gone down, especially when we had Tropical Storm Erica. Our airport was closed down for about two months. In addition to that, Liat um, gave us a raw deal. They didn't come back at, on, on, with a full schedule until about June the, that, that year. So it truly impacted, especially on our, our hotels, in terms of the numbers. So our numbers are going back up to where it should be. For the period January, tw January, tw January 2017 to April 2017, our arrivals for January to April have grown by 13%. Ladies and gentlemen, we're working smart. We're doing as much of the right things that we need to do to attract more people to come to Dominica, to spend more money in Dominica. But guess who benefits the most? You benefit. The government will benefit because hopefully you will pay some taxes, you will pay some VAT, and that money comes back to the government. But the bulk of that money stays in your pockets in the hotels, the bus drivers, the tour guides, the restaurant owners. So we continue to work in your best um, interests. For April 2017, we actually saw a growth of 51%. I know we're not going to be able to maintain that throughout the year, but our goal is to maintain a 5% growth across the year. And that is part of what we call our tourism master plan, which guides where we're going and how we want to go there. So your government of Dominica has put things in place. We are achieving those benchmarks, but I like to push the envelope as high as possible. And the prime minister is always pushing us even more to get, to get the best possible um, results. So this is very positive news for Dominica. I'm saying this to you so that you can prepare for it. Those who are best prepared will reap the best results. Okay? So those of you who are here who are interested in business, those of you who are, who are in business, as I've said to you, there's a small business grant of $15,000 that you can access if you have a great business plan to start a business, to help with your business. Those of you who are into hotels and restaurants, there's $15 million available to you at 3% to expand on your business and to grow on your business as the tourism sector in Dominica begins to grow. We continue to work very hard in terms of ensuring that our sites, and there's much work being done on sites, even as we speak right now, this, the Wharton Wave and Sulphur River Trail is being worked on. I'm told it's at about 85% um, complete, and we're hoping that we can complete that in the very near future. A lot more work is being done. As Dr. Mark said, there are two things that I really want to see how we can get um, working on is the, the, the washroom facilities and the vendor area, but again, it's a challenge. The land does not belong to government. The government doesn't want to just go and acquire individuals' land. So we have to speak with the individuals and see how we can come up with ways and means to put a proper vendor facility and washroom facilities so that our vendors are more comfortable. But once our vendors are more comfortable and our visitors are more comfortable, they will spend more time and hopefully spend more money in those areas. So we continue to ensure that all of our sites are up to a particular standard so that persons can, can experience them and enjoy them better and better. We're working on ensuring that we train more tour guides so that more persons can be employed, but very importantly, to improve the experience of the visitors when they come to Dominica. So, as I say to you, we are here. Our role, especially my role, is to ensure that we improve on our tourism product. We can attract more persons to come to Dominica, and when they come to Dominica, they have a much better experience. And I can say to you, it is working. And I want to say thank you to all of you who are working together because we can't do it by ourselves. Because if we put a beautiful marketing campaign out there, if we have all the planes coming to Dominica, but when they come to Dominica, they have a horrible experience, they're not going to come back. They're not going to tell their friends and family. So thank you very much for doing an excellent job. We all together have to continue working hard to ensure that any little issues that we see, we can fix them. Many times, sometimes people see negative things or something broken. The first action should not, to, should not be to post on Facebook for the world to see. Send it to the Ministry of Tourism. 
send it to the Ministry of Public Works. If after some time we're not taking the action, do what you have to do, but give us a chance to fix it. And as you can see, the government of Dominica is committed to making those changes for your benefit, to improve on, on, on our communities for our, our visitors so that all of us have jobs, all of us have businesses so that we can take care of our families. So thank you very much for listening. I look forward to your comments and your feedback. But again, we're here to serve you. Thank you very much.